Alright guys, welcome to the channel. We are making butter tarts. So you're going to get your eggs. That'll be three eggs. I'm going to break them up into your mixture. Now the mixture is going to be three eggs, two cups of brown sugar, one pound of butter. Using a mixer, mix well. After mixing, you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, two teaspoons of milk. Then you'll start the oven at 350 degrees. This recipe should make around 50 tarts, 20 to 25 minutes in the oven, and they will be done. We did not make the tarts. There is a tart recipe that I have that I will add in the link, but it's easier to just buy them pre-made. You're going to put about a little over a tablespoon per cup. This is what the tarts look like. We're going to place them on the pan neatly and separate them so they don't touch each other. There we go. Now we are going to add the filling. You don't want to go too much filling, but you don't want to have too little. Now depending on your cup size, like I mentioned before, you can do a tablespoon per cup. If you have bigger cups, then go a little bit larger. Just fill it so that it's about three quarters of the way full. And this way you will have tarts that are nice and full and they should not boil over in the oven. But if they do, at least if you put them on a cookie tray like we did here, it'll only boil over onto the cookie tray and not into your oven. Alright, so they've been in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take them out and we're going to switch them to the top rack. What you want to do is make sure you rotate them in your oven so that they cook evenly between the two trays. Alright, they're all done now. Check those out. Aren't they beautiful? Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring them over to some cooling racks and we're going to put them on the rack just like this. Nothing fancy. This way we can use the pan and get the next ones in. As soon as they're done cooling you can eat them. They're amazing the way they are. Some people like them warm, some people like them cool. I actually prefer them right out of the freezer. They never get rock hard. So if you want to put them in the freezer, you can keep them for next Christmas or so on. And they're actually a lot better when they're cold. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked our videos. If you liked it that much, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification so you get updates on the new video. Thank you.